Hi, it's Mike Monday here, and if you currently think you don't have enough time to make music, then keep watching. Because today I'm talking about the second step you need to take to finish better music faster. Um, and the better music comes from finishing a lot of music, basically. So what we're focusing on here is getting as much music finished as possible in the um, shortest amount of time while keeping the quality up. Now, one of the problems electronic, muses, uh, electronic music producers face today, which no other musician in the course of human history has ever had to face, is that their main tool, the main tool uh, that, that most of you use to make music, is also the main thing that distracts you, namely your computer. I don't think that uh, Mozart had a Facebook piano when he was composing, for instance. but uh, and this is a really big problem, and it's a growing problem. There isn't really any um, hard data on what is going on now that I can find, certainly not for music producers, but there, there are two studies, let me find my pen, there are two studies from back in 2005 which um, shed some light on how bad the problem is. Now bear in mind, back in 2005 there wasn't uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook was still only on university campuses. Um, there wasn't iPads, there weren't iPhones or, or anything like that. So the situation is going to be much, much worse now. But in two, 2005, there were two studies done of uh, office workers. One study found that on average, these office workers spent 28% of their day distracted, not focused on their task, and in another, uh, study they found that on average when they did get distracted from the task it took them on average 25 minutes to get back to the task if they did at all. Now remember this is in 2005 and yes this is for office workers but I haven't been able to find a study of electronic music producers um, as yet. Maybe I'll have to do one myself. But anyway, if we apply this to your music making, say you are doing um, one hour of music a day, and I'm going to round it up to 33% because it was back in um, 2005. I'm sure it's actually much worse than that. It's probably something like 50% of your time or 40% of your time distracted. But let's call it 33%. That means you have um, 40 minutes left to focus on your music. But remember, when you do get distracted, on average, it takes you 25 minutes to get back to the task. So, if you are working on music for one hour a day, that means you only have 15 minutes left. Going on the figures in 2005, before Facebook, Twitter, iPhones, iPads, smartphones, all of the stuff that makes it increasingly difficult to stay focused on um, what you're doing. So, you can probably understand how just 15 minutes a day, you feel that you don't have enough time to make music, even though you might be setting aside one hour a day. And of course, if you're setting aside more than one hour a day, this just gets worse and worse. So, but what I want to focus on is if you were able to completely focus on your music for that whole hour a day, what would the difference be? Well, instead of, uh, you'd get an extra 45 minutes a day. Okay? Times that by seven, four days of the week, obviously, um, and then multiply that by 50, because I'm going to give you two weeks off, because I'm really nice like that. Uh, that equals 15,750 minutes extra to focus on making music. Okay? That's on one hour a day. Okay, if you are if you are actually able to focus, that means you would have 262 and a half hours a year to make music. Okay, so what does that mean in terms of what you could finish? Well, I'm just going to take a stab in the dark, and let's say, on average, a track, an electronic dance club track takes you around 12 hours, focused hours, to finish. 
that would mean that you would finish nearly 22 tracks more than you do now, not just 22 tracks, 22 tracks more than you do now on only an hour a day if you were able to focus for that whole hour. That's nearly, well it is actually if you're talking about the albums I write, it's two albums worth of music. What could you do with two albums? How much better could you get at making music with two albums? How different could your life be if you made two albums? This is on one hour a day. So, and I mean this isn't just theory, I mean this is happening right now. Um, in fact yesterday um, there was a guy uh, on the forum, on the Start Now, uh, on the Make Music Your Life forum, he's a Start Now Finish Fast member. Now he's on month six of the program and at the start of the program he hadn't finished a single track. He finished his first track in Start Now Finish Fast. He just posted on the forum yesterday saying um, he's in April, just gone by, he finished eight tracks. And you might go, yeah, but they were probably terrible. But he also said he feels it's his best work. And this is with a full-time job and kids. He has finished eight tracks which he feels is his best work. I've listened to them and I agree. So it's tr it, this stuff happens if you can actually learn um, how to focus. So if you, are, if you say to yourself, I haven't got enough time to make music, you're probably asking the ro uh, wrong question. How do I find the time? The better question to ask is how do I learn the focus, the focus skills I need to make use of the time that I do have. Because really there is no limit to the amount you can do. I sometimes get emails from people who say, yeah, but you know, I'm already really focused. I don't need to uh, get better at that. One of the things I've noticed with people who are truly successful is they never say that kind of thing. If you're saying, I'm already good at this and I don't need to get any better, then you, it's the simple fact is you, you are limiting yourself. Um, because to become truly great, you must just understand one thing. You are never, you're never going to be as great as you could be. This is why top athletes, um, businessmen, uh, musicians, actors have coaches because they know they can always get better no matter how high up the tree they are. The reason they're so high is because they know they can always get better. So if you're currently thinking, but I'm already a really focused individual and I know everything there is to know about focus, that you are limiting yourself. And I mean this is also why I can coach um, DJ producers who are much higher up, who got much higher up the ladder than I ever did. Because I have learnt and I practice and I help people with the skills of focus and trust me there is no limit to how much you can prove. So step two, what you absolutely must do is focus, learn how to focus. And if you're wondering but what exactly does that mean, does that just mean cutting out distractions? Well actually there are four different skills involved in focus. So most people think about concentration um, but on top of that there is also um, intention, attention and perception. Now I don't have time because of this is this is a you know obviously a short 10 minute video to go into all of them but let's focus on uh, concentration and perception. Concentration is essentially the ability, the skill of being able to focus on a task at any one time. But what is almost more important is perception. Perception is knowing when you're not focusing on the task. How many times have you sat there and you've kind of got lost in whatever you're doing and then you realize that you've spent the last three hours fiddling with the EQ on a hi-hat. Quite a few times probably if you're, if you're anything like me. That's because you've, been, you've, you've got a, the great ability to concentrate but you haven't developed the skill of perception of actually being able to know when you're doing something which isn't helping, which isn't moving you forward. This is how people can um, get the boosts like eight tracks a month is because they've developed the skill of perception. You see, there are many things that you currently do which 
you think are helping you produce music, produce better music. And they may, may well be in some small sense, but they're not the best thing you can do, and they're not the most effective thing you can be doing. I've talked about them in a, a couple of other videos uh, recently, but I'll just go through them again now. Things like watching tutorials and learning about music production is not the most effective use of your time if you want to make better music faster. Creating impossible conditions for that music before you finish it is not the best use of the time. By possibly creating needless complexity, focusing on the detail too much, being a perfectionist, um, having, having the ability to perceive when you are doing that so that you can then direct your attention, there you go, attention away from that to, to something much more useful is a, an incredibly important skill. Waiting until you have the perfect setup before you finish music. That, in that, you are not focusing on the right thing. People have made brilliant music with um, terrible uh, equipment. Um, and right now, even if you've got a crappy old laptop with a uh, copy of Ableton on it, the free, free uh, copy of Ableton on it, you will have more music production power at your fingertips than any other musician in history. Um, master, thinking you need to master the software or equipment. Again, you're not focusing on the best, most effective way of getting better quickly. Um, so all of these things, which might seem like they are actually helping you make better music, are actually um, directing your focus away from what you need to be focusing on. This is why focus is, is so important, because it's not just about cutting out distractions. It's not just about Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. It's also about knowing what your goal is, which is what we talked about yesterday, step one, knowing what your goal is, how to get there, and then being able to focus on the task and knowing when you're not. So that is why I start with Start Now, Finish Fast with my six-month six online coaching program. The first thing you get is the How to Focus course. It really, really does make a difference. So. Obviously, the takeaway from that is learn how to focus. And tomorrow, we'll be moving on to step three. So until then, keep making that music. There's a sign up, uh, a sign up to the free training somewhere on this page where you'll learn more about my approach. But until then, keep making that music. Just finish it already. It's good enough, I'm sure.